because I didn't investigate Kazakhstan at all. I just had a preconceived idea of what Kazakhstan was like. I also had some of those doubts myself and I have been blown away. It's a very affordable city for those international teachers who arrive. I can't remember the last time I saw beautiful snow. Um, and I was just blown away. I was just absolutely mesmerized. Both the staff and the students and the people you meet in Almaty are all super friendly. You think of when you look at going to a new country is how safe is it? Um, and a lot of people who I told back home that I was moving to Kazakhstan, they'd say, oh, is it, is it safe there? And it is so safe. Um, I haven't felt unsafe at all since I've been here. I've felt like everybody I meet on the street is welcoming. When I walk home at night, I don't feel afraid. Just everything feels so um, relaxed. I wasn't sure what to expect, having been in the UAE for, um, for such a long time where I'd kind of gotten used to having my own um, home comforts and so on. I wasn't sure whether I would be able to have those here. And actually, um, all of those Worries were alleviated straight away. Um, every single person that I have met so far has gone way above and beyond in helping, um, helping me to settle in, to find my feet. Um, so yeah, I mean, actually, everything's been um, better, much better than expected. So we're a school of 750 students uh, with a sixth form of about uh, 80, which is growing gently. Um, we have three form entry in reception uh, up to uh, year six, and we have strong demand for places. Um, we're selective on the students that we take. Most of our students um, come with a very strong aptitude for university in the future, and we run the IGCSE and A-level program. The school helped me with the next step of my um, career pathway with my qualification um, and I was supported on that journey. Um, I was put in touch with the university and I was um, given a course through them that the school funded and the school supported and facilitated. Um, I was given a mentor within the school. Everywhere you go, you take your own ideas and sometimes you keep those ideas to yourself. I was sat down by the English department and said, right, tell me what you can do to make us better. And I'm already working in a fantastic high achieving department, but they wanted to know my ideas. They wanted to share my ideas. Um, so it wasn't all about them. And this is what we do. It was basically right. You've been in a school and, and I was in a very good school prior to this. Um, and he says, tell us the ideas, tell us the things that we can do to take from your place, because obviously you've been very successful. Um, and let's add those to what we're already doing now. Children are just great. They're like children everywhere. You know, some of them love sports, some of them love science. Um, they are engaged and yeah, it's a pleasure to teach them. I love the campus building. I absolutely love it. You walk in and you're greeted by uh, friendly security staff and reception staff. Um, and then it's so green. And what I really like about it as well, it's very light. And you walk in and you've got all the flags that represent the different nationalities that attend the school. And I think that makes you feel really welcome um, and that you're part of a community. So I think the environment's brilliant. The medical coverage provided by Halebury is truly second to none with full Bupa Global Health Insurance for you and any family members. You can have peace of mind travelling almost anywhere in the world knowing you have access to the very best medical facilities wherever you may be. I've found Almaty to be a most wonderful home and city. Um, it's got fantastic skiing and hiking and biking for those who like the outdoors, amazing restaurants. But also professionally, this is a school with all the right resources, fantastically supportive staff and pupils who really want to learn and I'm delighted to see them going off to world-class university locations. What I really love is how accessible uh, the fresh fruit and vegetables are. Uh, there are grocers on every road and it's all my favourite things like really ripe tomatoes and delicious apricots and nectarines and um, uh, watermelons. So if you love fruit and vegetables, it's a great place to be. <laughs> Pretty same as the UK. 
Um, you can get most meat, fruit and vegetables that you expect. Um, some fruits might be a little bit more expensive, um, but they're really good quality. And there's more and more Kazakh food being grown and sold in Kazakhstan. Um, the only thing that you can't get here is things like sauces that you'd expect in the UK. So you can get like ketchup, you can't get brown sauce, you can't get salad cream, you can't get different kinds of mayonnaise. It's different things you've got to buy, but uh, pretty much on the whole, everything is is the same. Which is probably quite a surprise to most people. Morning. Come on in. So when I first um, took the job, I was offered um, a ready-made apartment that the school would sort out, and I was also offered the opportunity to take an allowance and to find my own accommodation. I decided with um, travelling with a family that it would be much easier and more convenient to take the ready-made school-provided accommodation. So here is my bedroom, which is very large. It's got a nice desk area in case I want to do any work and a nice little, what I call my little reading corner. This is where my daughter sleeps. My son is super excited to be on the top bunk and my other son on the bottom bunk. In terms of uh, internet and access to um, that kind of technology, internet is strong, it's good. Um, the kids uh, have got Netflix on in the background now. Um, so yeah, so they, they are well catered for here. <laughs> Um, because of Covid last year we were limited as to what was available and what there was um, to actually go and see so unfortunately I haven't seen too much so far but now that everything has started to open up again life has started going back to um, a bit more normality a lot of stuff is starting to happen and there's a lot of dates booked in my calendar to go and see the opera, the ballet, um, there is some jazz cafes, there is all sorts to do. Um, you'll go down the street and you'll see buskers, there is music everywhere. My first thought was, wow, Kazakhstan. But it caused me then to inquire and to investigate a little. And of course, the first thing I did was looked online and looked at Google Images and Big Lake Almaty was the first thing that that uh, appeared, which is very dramatic. And the scenery really drew me here. Um, it's stunning. Coming from England, which is a small island, it's quite flat. Here you've got the mountains, you've got the sand dunes, you've got the lakes, the rivers. Um, I really think it's a beautiful country and unexplored. looking to join a school that's steeped in British history and tradition but surrounded by beautiful Kazakh culture and a wonderfully supportive staff community, then this is the place for you.